Good day, this is Dwayne, and welcome back to Life on Our Time. I'm glad you could join me today. I'm pretty excited about this series of videos I'm setting up. I'm doing a four video series, which is going to cover off weight distribution, sway control, and the importance of a good set of tires on your RV. All of these components will definitely help you with an improved towing experience, particularly if you're having issues with sway or uncomfortableness with your towing experience. first video I'll be doing today is solely on setting up your truck and trailer ensuring you have good attitude of your truck good attitude of your trailer trimming out everything making sure you have a nice level setup which is optimal for the best towing experience second video will get into weight distribution the third video will detail a sway control hitch upgrade and the final video will be a tire upgrade all of these components combined will result in a much improved towing experience. And I'll show you how significant these changes have been for me. And remember, if you're looking to increase your knowledge on trucks towing and all things RV and camping related, start now by subscribing and click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it. So let's start with the truck sitting, no trailer attached. This is the standard attitude of the truck. You can see there's a little less gap in the front wheel well compared to the rear. And that difference is called rake. And the rake isn't needed, it's intentional because your leaf springs will compress as you load the back of your truck. So taking a dimension at the rear axle, we were at 39 and a half inches. And at your front axle, you're at 37. So there's about two and a half inches of rake on your truck. Our trailer is 28 feet long. And 28 feet, that's the length of your body. You also have the length of your A-frame. That comes out to your hitch, which adds another almost three feet in our situation. So right here I'm demonstrating only hooking up on the ball. There's no weight distribution, no sway control. As we come over here, you can definitely see a significant difference in the attitude of this truck, how she does squat in the rear end. So let's do our measurements from level ground. We are looking at 37 and a half inches in the front. And we're looking at 36 and a half inches in the rear. So the entire amount of that rake is gone, plus an extra inch of compression. And even sitting here, I can feel how much the truck is squatted in the rear end. So let's take a look at the difference from no weight distribution at all, and then moving to a weight distribution setup, and how it changes the attitude of the truck, how it moves loading from your rear axle, to the front axle of your tow vehicle. So I now have my weight distribution hitch hooked up. Again, there is no sway control with these. If anybody tells you, you get sway control with this, absolutely not. You're dealing with a set of chains. They may be stretched out and tightened, but there is lots of flexibility in them. This does not give you sway control. I do not have sway control. So let's go back to measuring the rake on the truck here. So we are at a little under 37 inches. So this means I get about a half an inch of compression moved from the rear of the truck to the front. Hence the name weight distribution. You're distributing the weight load from the back of your truck to the front. It's like carrying a wheelbarrow when you lift a wheelbarrow. You're lifting up the handle of your wheelbarrow and distributing that weight from the back legs of the wheelbarrow to the front. Back at the rear, we're at 37 and a half inches. We do have the truck pretty well leveled out. Just a general eyeball on your trailer as well. And this comes back to proper installation of your hitch when you first buy it. But that's got to be set up properly. It's very important to have it done by somebody that knows what they're doing. 
so that your the attitude of your trailer is level. Proper weight balancing and weight distribution as you load your stuff into your trailer is also important for good control while you're towing. So with a truck and a travel trailer set up properly with a weight distribution hitch or a weight distribution hitch with sway control, you'll see your tow vehicle is nice and level, your trailer is nice and level. And as you watch me taking these dimensions, we're measuring from top of wheel well down to the ground. This is the dimension that I'm comparing with no trailer on, a trailer without weight distribution and a trailer with weight distribution. For a trailer without weight distribution, you'll commonly see that squat in the rear end, which I did show with our truck. And with that, you get some uplifting of the front end. Similarly, on the trailer end, you'll see additional compression on that front axle compared to the rear axle. And what happens is that you've got 85 to 90% of the trailer is on these tires, 10 to 15% is bearing down on your pitch point. So with this being your teeter-totter or your cantilever point, this force in here, which in my trailer's case is around 900 to 1,000 pounds is what I've estimated, is putting that down pressure back from the pivot point of the rear axle. And in turn, you're getting uplift up here. And that can significantly reduce the amount of weight that's carried on that front axle. And you feel that in your wheel with that lightness and sloppiness. Those things can give you an unpleasant towing experience. Similarly back here, when you're overloading that front axle compared to the rear axle, you are putting additional pressure and loading on those front tires. And you could be overstressing the suspension system on your trailer at the same time. Overall, that's a situation you want to completely avoid. Make your investment in a good weight distribution hitch for a longer travel trailer. And what I'm showing through this series of videos with upgrading that to sway control in addition to weight distribution, we are getting nice level balance. There's balance loading on the rear axles. And you're trying to equal this out as much as you can up on your truck as well. And again, you're doing that uh, basic check with the dimensioning from top of fender down to the ground. Ensuring you've got good attitude of your tow vehicle and you've got good attitude of your travel trailer. Everything's nice and plumb and level. You've got good equilibrium of forces and loadings on your axles and on your tires will give you the safest towing experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications so you get a front row seat to the remaining videos in this series and also other content that I'm adding onto my channel. Take care and I'll see you next time.